Click the link in the description below to see the new merch on our website. Thank you, Honey, for sponsoring this video. Here is a visual representation of how I'm doing in quarantine. Today is May 7th, and this says March, and I have not changed this since the 23rd. Hello, Bidgets. For those of you who are not in the Nintendo world, Animal Crossing is this game where you go into debt because of a fucking raccoon, <laughs> and you shake trees and physically and mentally manipulate villagers into doing your bidding. But seriously, it's a great game. It has a lot of nostalgia for me because I've played it since Wild World. I played City Folk. I played Happy Home Designer, New Leaf, Pocket Camp, even though it kind of sucks. And now I have not only New Horizons, but the limited edition. That's right. Get a good look. Guys, I'm going to flaunt this until the day I die. My friend did buy this for me though. Now I'm not a sculptor by any means. I don't consider myself a professional artist still. I think I'm still a amateur, a star in the making, you know, like I am just waiting to become Van Gogh. Delusion, <laughs> convince yourself. But I did see this TikTok where someone made an Animal Crossing tree. It looks like this and they made it in real life and it was a like made of clay. And I think it's pretty cute and I would like to see it on my shelf that is already very clustered and that's not a hyperbole guys it's full of shit but i think it'd be fun trying it for the first time so i have with me this bucket of crayola air dry clay because the fancy clay is very expensive and frederick is on a college budget but thankfully i got this on discount from michael's with the use of wait for it that's right, I'm sponsored by Honey. Honey? Honey! Oh my God, Frederick is sponsored by a mainstream brand. I'm climbing up the social ladder of being a YouTuber. Let me pretend I care. Honey makes online shopping much easier, especially because we're all doing it at home right now. All you have to do is go to one of your websites and when you're done shopping, when you go to checkout, the Honey extension will automatically pop up or you just click on it and it applies a bunch of coupons that it finds on the internet. You know those TikTok codes that give you Amazon discounts? Honey already has them. It literally worked. And you can get Honey for free right now at joinhoney.com slash Frederick. I hate it. You guys know I only do sponsorships that I actually use and Shane Dawson made me use this one year ago. And you know what? I have no regrets. And I am so sorry that you had to see those close-ups of me drinking it. I bought this before quarantine, so I hope it hasn't dried. Oh, okay, it's not dry at all. Well, that's gonna be what we're working with. Oh, it's not that easy to mold either. It feels stiff, malleable, but stiff. I'm gonna put you back in because I'm kind of scared that you're going to dry. I do have these clay tools with me. I've never used them. I don't know if I would need to use them, but hopefully they help me carve out things. I'm not sure. Like, why did I buy this? All right, it's slightly phallic, not a bad thing. My idea is to make three spheres, then the trunk, and then a lot of leaves. I don't know if I want to glue it together or just have it dry together because I don't trust that it'll dry well. And obviously I'm going to paint this once it's fully dry. Let's see what I'm working with. I think I need one third for the trunk and then the rest for the leaves. So I don't have a slicer, so I'm going to take this. <gasps> it's already making my hands a little bit chalky. Oh, this is so satisfying. Wow. Ooh, guys. Whoa. That's my base. Let me just keep slicing. Is there a bigger knife that I have? I need a knife. Let me see what you have. A knife! No! Oh, I have this thing. This kind of feels like flour and water in a way. And because I'm such a professional chef, I feel like I have this in the bag already. I'm making it worse. I'm making it worse, Frederick. Stop it. Just stop now. So I'm gonna first make it into a cylinder. See, this is why I never understood. How do you get rid of the cracks on this? Like I see imperfections. Maybe you just paint over it or put like a glaze over it. I do have a big bucket of, uh, it's not Crisco, what is it called? I forgot what it's called, but I'll just put it on the screen. So I think I can put a layer of that over to seal in everything and like make it smooth and then paint over it. You look wrong. There's four points on the end. Well, six probably, if I want to make it fully 3D. I'm going to roll this back into a sphere and then roll it out into a cylinder. Do these tools help? Not really. I can see why the tools would be helpful, but I also feel like that's very tedious and not worth my time. That's a cylinder. Maybe if I just do it very gently, it'll eventually flatten out. Wait, how long does it take to dry? Two to three days. Uh, I, at least I know I don't have to feel rushed because I'm so tired of monetizing my suffering and then having this very chaotic video. I think that's the smoothest I'm gonna be able to get it for now. I think I'll be able to cover up all the nooks and crannies that it has. Like, yeah, if I stare at something long enough, I'm gonna find things I hate about it. I'm talking about my face. <laughs> but if you just glance at it for one second, it's like, oh, she looks good. It's also not a perfect cylinder. It's thicker on the end. So now I have to roll this specifically on one side. I'm gonna crush it again. We're back to square one. 
That did not flatten the crease. See, the only time I've worked with clay before was polymer clay, but that was when I was like eight years old and I thought, mm, I'm gonna make myself a charm because I'm that edgy Etsy girl. DIY charms and sell them and make bank. And I couldn't even figure out how to bake it. Okay, I feel like that's the best I'm gonna be able to get it. Now I need to make the base where the roots go in. It's six spi- Oh, my finger just dented it. Oh my God, that's so annoying. Okay, I'm moving all these tools away from this. I'm putting you up here, because I don't trust you. So roll this out into a cylinder and then make six even pieces. It comes to a point, but a slight point. I did not mean to make that many jokes about the male genitalia. This is a very unique shape you're asking me to do here, guys. I think I know how to do this. You make a circle. That is what I'm looking for. I have to attach it, right? How does that attach? I don't physically see how this can stick. And I think this is where my tools come into play, where you manipulate this in such a way. That is not working. I feel like you need to add something to it. Instead of pushing against it, you add a little bit of clay on the outside. Like I'm gonna take this little string, wrap it around, and then I'm gonna push it into place. Oh, that's much better. Yes. Hey, beautiful. <laughs> See that? Like if I push this against it, it'll slowly blend and I just have to keep blending. Oh, it's like makeup, except I don't know if this is gonna be beautiful at the end. Okay, well that's sort of in place. It looks relatively okay. I'm gonna set that aside and I'm going to work on the other tip. Going to roll this into a ball and then just do this. Eventually it should come to a point. This one did not get enough love. I need to take some from the other brother. I think my palms are getting sore because it's starting to itch but also hurt. All right, five roots. Now let's take this, space them out evenly. Oh my God, this looks scary. <laughs> sort of, oh, nope, looks like nothing now. It kind of looks like a monster, but it's okay. We're going to patch it up now. I'm gonna take a little piece and then wrap it around. There's probably a tutorial on how to make clay smooth and I'm just not gonna watch it because I'm stubborn. Now let's pat everything down. We're using this tool. I just needed to fade seamlessly. <gasps> I jabbed it. Oh no. All right, I think I've blended this enough to the point where I can now lift it. Moment of truth. Oh yes, 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 yes. Okay, now balance it. So just continue blending. Wow, I really should have taken that sculpting class back in high school. But no, Frederick chose to do calculus instead because he wanted to be a smarty boy. It looks like shit. Don't remind me. I don't know. I don't know. Oh my God, it looks terrible. All right, this is gonna take me a while. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip past this and time lapse it. All right, so after 30 minutes, I was able to get a final product. There's still like bits and pieces that are a little bit incomplete, but honestly, I don't really care at this point. But it doesn't look bad. And I'm actually very pleased with my progress. I've also taken a liking to certain types of tools. These are my two favorites. We have the Morphe W54, because that is probably how good quality they actually are. I'm never gonna get a sponsorship from them ever. This also had the nerve to start drying on me, like on the ends of the roots. Did you want me to start getting anxious? Are you trying to get me to suffer again? No, ma'am, not gonna happen. No, cause this is done. So I'm gonna let it dry for a while. In my mind, if I dip this in that big Crisco tub, it'll just look magical after and like smooth. My hands are never gonna get clammy ever again. I think I'm ready to start on the leaves, but I can see that the leaves all look the same. So I can just duplicate them with ease when I get the hang of it. I was originally just gonna do the leaves and let them dry and then glue it back on, but then I thought about it and I was like, they won't bend. I think that's right. No, that is not right. <laughs> it's a little too small. I'm gonna need this much for the leaves, I bet. This turns into two circles. All right, I think that's the best I'm gonna be able to get it. See, that is not, no, 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 no. I need glue. That's just not gonna dry on there. That's gonna fall and I know it. I know gravity. I've taken physics. You said E. Mariah Carey. Okay, Einstein. If I put these two balls on the... <laughs> All right, everyone be mature for a second. If I put these two balls on that stick in that area, it is gonna fall after like five minutes. So in conclusion, I'm going to make three circles. Let these dry, let that dry, and then I'm gonna add the leaves. Beautiful, amazing, never done before, spectacular. So smart, Frederick. That's not the same size. Mm, these are oblong. <laughs> Don't do it. I gotta do it. <laughs> I have not done that in front of my friend in so long. This is how we communicate. Oh, like there's gonna be a difference. They don't have to be perfect circles either because I'm just gonna cover it up with leaves. From this angle, it's a perfect circle. So I'm happy with that. Let's see, what does that look like? Oh, that's not right. You know what? Because this is 3D, I'm going to have it face a certain way. Like it's only gonna face this way because if you turn around, it'll look 
wrong. Like a Christmas tree, you know, you decorate the front, not the back. Because if I just do this, that looks stupid. But if I do this, it looks right. Oh no, it just went in my nail. Let's set this one aside right here, right here. See you in two to three days. All right, so today is the third day of drying. The dye has not come in yet, so don't look at my hair. Yesterday on my Twitch stream, you guys gave me really good advice about how to work with clay. I don't know why I didn't think of this, but you can make this mixture of clay and water and it can be used as a glue. So I took it upon myself to make some extra clay and I got it by literally carving out some of these circles. I'm afraid to call them balls because I don't want to promote the fact that they look phallic. But if I was going to fit all three of them on this tree and only have the front showing, because remember, Christmas tree, we don't look at the back. I had to carve a good amount of it out so that it would fit properly. And I eyeballed it, I didn't really care. Once I carved them out, I mixed my extra clay, which didn't dry at all, by the way. Put the extra clay in some water and mixed it until it was like a paste. And then I started putting that paste all around each ball and then stuck it on itself. And I basically held it for like 30 minutes straight and then I thought, I'm losing my time. So I took some mason jars that actually were the correct size and I put them right under here and it didn't fall at all and it still looks perfect and like a dick. Now my handiwork is obviously bad, like the back of it is very crunchy looking, but that's the point. It's a Christmas tree, you don't look at the back, like this will only pose one way. I guess we'll try to put that same mixture of water and clay over the trunk to make it smoother. It sort of worked, I might do another layer today, but overall I'm very happy with how this came out. It doesn't matter how it looks right now because I'm just gonna put leaves over it. Speaking of leaves, Let's do that today. The leaf has three ends to it, but it's also pretty rounded. I figured the best way to cut them out is literally using one of these carver tools, but I'm also sick and tired of having my hands feel like they've never felt moisturizer in their life. So I'm gonna use some gloves. This will definitely make some impressions into the leaf, like the little crevices, but I can use a paintbrush and water to make it smooth. Allegedly, I haven't tried it yet. Allegedly! I will also say this thing gains weight and science taught me masks cannot be created nor destroyed. So I don't know where you got it from. This is heavier than 10 pounds. This is how much I have left. Uh, it's more than enough to make leaves, I'm sure. And it's very soft because I sprayed some water in here and it kept it very malleable and I'm very happy that my hypothesis worked. Oh, it got on the floor. Oh no, I just vacuumed today, guys. I also have this mixture that I kept really wet, but it's my mixture of clay and water and that will be my glue for each leaf. Look at me talking like a true professional. I don't know the best way to flatten this out. I'm just gonna go with this method. I don't really feel like taking the rolling pin out. Oh shit, it's stuck. Oh God, God, oh no. <gasps> no! Oh damn it. Oh no. How do I mass produce leaves? How do trees do it? What's their secret? Or fill photosynthesis this is other stuff I learned in biology. I don't think this is the right way to go. I don't think making a pancake is gonna do me any good. Maybe if I just break a piece off, like let's start off with this. Flatten that out in the palm of my hand and then place it down. I also kind of forgot what it looked like, but I'm just gonna eyeball it. That didn't work. <laughs> Make a round circle. That looks terrible. Well, maybe not actually, hold on. I can probably salvage this. My downfall is not getting this even. See all the bits and pieces on the end? I don't know how to get rid of that. I mean, the shape isn't bad. Oh, the back looks so much better. <laughs> Maybe we do that. Maybe we flip it each time so that the back looks better. I should probably brush it with some water to make it smooth, but then I'm also afraid it'll just completely break it. All right, so I have some water in here and I'm just gonna lightly brush this. I think it's working. Okay, this is gonna take so fucking long to get all of them. Like, do you guys expect me to be able to do this? For how many leaves? A hundred maybe? Maybe not a hundred, maybe like 30. For once in my life, I'm not gonna be so perfectionist about this. Now I just gotta figure out a way to stick it on. Okay, this is too big and it's also too pointy. So I'm gonna cut this down a little bit. All right, the clay is all sticking onto itself. This is a disaster. This is, no, all right, restart. So we're back to square one of nothing. How can I make a stencil or just cut it the same way each time. I'm not Claire from the BA test kitchen. I'm gonna use a curve tool this time. Hopefully that helps the shape. All right, paintbrush time. Is it enough if I just like dip it in water, wet the back and then place that on? Okay, I have one leaf. So my system right now is make a tiny ball, flatten it out between your hands, carve it out. <gasps> I ripped it. One of the leaves is not well loved. That already looks so different from the first one I made. And for once the front is better than the back. Oh my God, I have to paint all of these. I hate clay. Say it right now, I hate it. All right, I have two leaves. I guess I'll just keep making them until I eventually have covered this whole thing. If I can paint a Minecraft painting for over a whole season in the year, I can do this. A few minutes later. So 
I gave up. I was able to make seven leaves in the span of, I think, 30 minutes. And then I realized I'm not doing this the best to my ability. Thankfully, I was watching Bon Appetit and it made me remember that you can make molds out of basically anything. I don't have a cookie cutter, but what I do have is this aluminum pan that no one has used. We have like 50 of these in our house and I've never seen my mom use it once. So I'm gonna use my resources wisely and make a DIY cookie cutter out of aluminum. I have tape, a box cutter, and scissors. I'm thinking I should take an edge off of this. That'll be enough. Let me just remind you, this is very sharp. You don't wanna do this without a professional. All right, so I have my base shape. I think I should start off by determining the ends. Now we just gotta bend. I'm gonna fold it into thirds just to see what size I want it to be. I think that'll make the leaves pointy. The good thing about this, I have like infinite tries to get it right. Now we gotta make the leaves fold inwards and then out. Actually though, that's sort of the shape, right? Hold on, I'm onto something. All right, so after toying with it for like 10 minutes, I think I got a size that works. I'm gonna close it by just making a fold on both sides. Hopefully that prevents this from moving while I push it down. Claire would be so proud of me right now. All right, this is my mold. Put my gloves back on because I don't want to risk getting cut, even though I don't think that this glove is going to protect me. All right, moment of truth. <gasps> I have to pop it out. I think I have a mold. It's not perfect, but it did cut everything out with a very smooth edge. Overall, I think this is a success because this will definitely speed up my time. Thank you so much, Bon Appetit, for this idea. Hello, welcome to day three of clay making. This is the third time I've worn this shirt because there's clay all over this and I don't want to take it out of this room. I'm scared to pick it up. Oh my God, I don't want to pick it up. I don't want to pick it up. Here's what it currently looks like. It's okay, we can stay far away from it. The closer you get, the worse it looks. But in the time that it took me to make this sculpture, I finished all of Tiger King. I finished Dead to Me season two. I was halfway through both of the seasons before I started this. So give or take eight hours that it took. I mean, I don't know what's worse, like, Never mind. <laughs> Nothing is worse than that. I didn't know your hands could cramp during this, but this took two days to finish. I did it in two sittings that were four hours long. I don't know what happened to it. I think I trashed it. My makeshift cookie cutter did work for like two thirds of this. By the time we got to the final bulb, ball at the end. What do I call it without referring to the penis? By the time I got to the top sphere, the cookie cutter just gave up. The whole time I couldn't get it perfect. Each time I cut out a leaf, I had to remold it by painting it with water. And then I had to cut off some of the ends with these clay tools. Cause you know, I'm anal perfectionist, annoying. I get it. Don't remind me. So I gave up and I just thought might as well cut it from scratch, except use the cookie cutter as a guide. So I pressed halfway down and then cut the rest with my tools. Also, these leaves are different sizes because I think I squeezed the cookie cutter at some points because I was so stressed and angry at this project that I just bent it a little. So some of these are longer than what they should be. And then I just have to take a look at the picture that I was referencing. It's just not, <laughs> they're just not the leaves. Like these are much longer leaves than the other ones. But overall, I'd say I got an A minus at this. But what we're not gonna do is take a look at the back because <laughs> I mean, no one cares. I'm gonna put this in like the back of my shelf so no one can see the sides. Even if I walk past it, if I see it from this angle, it doesn't look finished. So I'm gonna have to make sure nothing can see this side or just put it away from society. Back in the closet you go. Now all I have to do is paint it and I don't know what's worse, painting or making clay. But before that, I have to clean up this big fat mess that I made. And I did wear gloves the whole time. And let me just tell you, when I said my hands were never gonna be clammy again, well now I don't think they could be dry again because oh my God, there was so much sweat. There's dust all over these cameras. It looks like I haven't moved from the spot in three days. Now, what do we do about you? Okay, I think I got it. We use a coaster and then lift it up. Oh no, 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 no. I'm gonna lift it up with both hands and put it to the side. Okay, maybe this clay is pretty easy to work with, but if it melts this easily, I'm paranoid at what it's gonna do when I put paint on it. All right, I have a clean surface. So I'm gonna use the lid from my clay to be the balancing thing for the tree. I don't wanna paint directly on this table anymore. Even though I've done it multiple times, I think you deserve a rest. A five minute break, you're welcome. Okay, okay. It's still pretty powdery, like I can touch it and I can see it on my hand. And because I'm still paranoid about the little divots and cracks that I'll see, I'm gonna put a layer of gesso over it. I never used it before, but this is white gesso. It's apparently a primer for acrylic paints. I don't really know what the difference is between this and like Elmer's glue. Okay, so I'm just gonna paint a thin layer real quick. I hate this brush. This brush is too bad for this. Oh wow, it's actually making it white. So if I did this 
with like 50 of my other projects that I've done in the past, probably could have saved a lot more time, right? Lucky you guys for not telling me sooner. There was also some gaps in between the leaves that I didn't like, but overall it's fine. I try to place them crisscross pattern, but you know, you can only do so well. So maybe this gesso could fill in those cracks. I tried to fill in the cracks by putting like a mixture of water and clay into it. No, no, not worth it. Don't try it. I mean, I don't know what to expect. Oh shit, it's drying. Oh my God, fast drying is true. Oh, my posture right now, unacceptable. I don't know how to get underneath the leaves. Like I physically can't see underneath it. Maybe if I, nope. I'm gonna let this dry and then we'll start painting. All right, it's been over 30 minutes and I'm pretty sure this is dry. Like I can touch it and ooh, she's smooth. Like a baby's butt. Why do I know what that feels like? Cause I, I'll stop. I like how I call this playlist Frederick's Art Camp, even though I'm never teaching. I'm like the volunteer worker that comes in once a week and is like, okay kids, Let's go to lunch. As always, everything I use is linked in the description. You are going to need burnt umber, burnt sienna, and yellow ochre for the log, yellowish green, permanent green light, and permanent green deep, and sap green for the leaves. Did you like that professional moment? I learned how to do that in college. No, I'm kidding. I didn't learn shit. All right, I'm gonna watch another documentary that will not help me in my education whatsoever. Someone said I should talk less in my art videos. Um, excuse me? Who do you think I am? This whole channel is literally about me, stuff that I wanna do, and star only only me. I'm the main show. Call it selfish, call it conceited, but I will not shut up for a whole minute. What do you think this is, Karen? An educational video? No, this is under entertainment, not education, which is why this should not be called Frederick's Art Camp at all. This is gonna take two coats. I already, I already know. I'm currently mixing permanent green light and permanent green deep to create the base color. I'm lifting this up, guys. This is, this is living life on the edge. All right, so I finally finished the first layer that I want to do. While I'm letting that dry, I'm going to work on the tree trunk and I'm going to do one base layer for that. Probably mix the first two colors together and leave the dark brown for like accents. I am so scared that each time I pick this up, it will break. I'm also abusing this brush by literally jamming it between every crevice. All right, it's been one hour and I was able to get two coats but in the second half uh one of these leaves decided to start breaking i think my frustration and impatience came out like my sexuality i might have pushed a little too hard on the clay you know it's sensitive it's emotional it's a cancer but i just took some tacky glue and stuck it back on together and let it dry for like 10 minutes before painting over it again i hope it's fine i'm not touching that leaf ever this paint is weird it doesn't like layering i think it's because it's not matte so i'm gonna try to buy more paints next time that are actually layer I think it looks pretty good. I've sealed my egg carton together because I'm gonna wait for this to dry fully. It'll probably be nighttime by then, so I will see you once I've eaten dinner. The next day. Today's day four, five of this. You know, I'm losing track of time. Day 15! Give it up for day 15! I feel like I'm about to get chronic back pain or something. Like, listen to this. My mom would be so disappointed in me if she saw how my back looks right now. You know, she always said, chin up, shoulders back, boobs forward. So I've painted this four times now, just the base color. And today we're gonna add shading. Each leaf has highlights and shadow, except the ones on the very bottom have a little more shadow. I'm just gonna use this light color and the dark color. As for the trunk, I'm a little disappointed because I didn't think about adding texture to it. But the trunk in real life has crevices and I probably should have taken that clay tool and like make indent inside of it. I think I honestly try with this box cutter. One eternity later. All right, my gas tank is out. This is as best as we're gonna get it. And honestly, it looks great. So when I was painting the highlights, I first thought it looked pretty nice with the dry brush method. And then when I added shadows, turns out this color is way too dark. So I had to mix it in with my other base color. And I did highlights with my paint brush going down and then shadows with the paint brush going up because like logically highlights on top, shadows on bottom. And it just looked weird. Like my highlights weren't blended. None of them were blending. So I put a thin layer of base color all over it again to blend it. And it was just a back and forth of add highlight, add shadow, add base color until eventually it just looked like M messy, but like intentionally messy. Kind of like my room, my office, everything is there for a reason. And on Animal Crossing's New Horizon, the tree has three lines of the leaves, but in New Leaf, the graphics were not that good yet and they don't have any of those lines. And they're not there because of this paintbrush that I use is not thin enough and my hand is not steady enough for that life. I need like an actual pen if I want to be able to get those straight lines. Halfway through the first bulb, I was like, this looks bad. So I put the base color over it again and redid everything I did again with highlights and shadows for it. That was all for the leaves. Now for the trunk. If you're gonna put indentations into the clay, do it before it's dry, cause it just looks wrong. I did fix it eventually, but for the most part, it looks 
like you messed up. Like the indents weren't long enough. They needed to go throughout the entirety of the trunk. And instead it was like little holes and it kind of triggered my trepophobia a little bit. So to fix that, I put a gigantic layer of the base trunk color over it, trying to fill in the holes that I made. Cause I was like, this paint can fill in holes. It, it works like that. Didn't work by the way. And then I started painting the rings cause there's two rings on the Animal Crossing tree. When I finished the first ring, it looked like shit because I didn't have a steady hand. So I put another base color over it, let it dry, and then I went in with the brown Sharpie that was close to the paint that I wanted to use and outlined the circles. And once that was done, I suddenly was able to paint within the lines. I don't know why that's a thing, but it's a thing. Two layers of brown paint made it opaque. And to add some texture or like try to hide the fact that I made those indentations, took that same brown paint, watered it down, and took my thin brush and made little streaks down the trunk. And I also added some brown paint to fill in those indents to be like, it's intentional. I added that same brown paint around the roots to give us some depth, some shadow. And then I added some shadow underneath the leaves in the same brown paint to be like, uh, it's 3D. And that is the final product. I'm very proud of it. I think it'll look great on my shelf in a corner. We don't move it. We don't look behind. Will I make another version of this? No, I'm never doing this again. I mean, unless this thing falls down eventually, yeah, I'll do it. Like from an earthquake, sure. Anyone want to explain to me why this is happening? <gasps> oh my God, that root's gonna fall off. I just saw it. Never mind, we're not touching this ever again. There's a crack. I have to tacky glue that. But for my first time working with clay, I'm pretty impressed. No one is allowed to judge me if you take into clay class, okay? Not all of us decide to do that as an elective in high school. But that's the end of the video. So if you enjoyed, give it a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe for more videos whenever I want to upload them. Turn on my notifications so you never miss an upload and don't drink honey, but get the app. All right, I love you guys and everything is less than three.